Hello and welcome to this session on some tips on identifying objects in Catalon Studio. So if you record a test case with Catalon Studio and then try to replay it on the same browser or most of the times on a different browser, you might find that some of the objects are not recognized. So let us see some tips how you can uh, make use of uh, some of the features of object identification in Catalon Studio. So uh, let me create a new folder in the test case. I will say this is as object locators. This is just for easy referencing and inside this I will create a new test case. I will say this is test one and hit on OK. And here I will use this web recorder, record web to record a new test. So let us just start and here I'm using this URL which is a demo website and you can use any site and I will start on a Chrome browser. So this opens the Chrome browser and goes to that particular URL and here I will record my actions. I am using a username and password and you can see the username and password are displayed here and the password is admin123 and hit on login. So this should log in and yes. And here I can click on few more actions here. And I will just close it now. And here you can see all my recorded actions. And I will say OK. And I will create a new folder for object repository. And I will say this is object locators. And say OK. And OK and you can see my recorded test is here and all the objects are inside this object repository and object locators folder and all these objects are here. Now in case whenever you face any issue that your object is not getting identified you can always go to these objects here so if you double click you will get this window for objects and here you can see Catalon Studio when it records it actually records or identifies the objects with more than one type of locators and by default it selects the best strategy for that particular browser so you can see this input submit button or the login button this has been um, identified with so many locators and there are some more locators like uh, class and uh, xpath which is recorded but is not being used and then there is value as well so this is recorded but not being used for identification so you can actually check or uncheck this locator so if you want to be uh, to the, uh, this particular object to be located by class you can select this and then all these things you can say so you can use this combination of locators to identify the object and then the good thing is you can always add your custom locators by this add button so you can select the name what is the locator whether it is a class css id name xpath etc and then you have match condition whether it is equals not equals contains starts ends with or it's a regex and then you can give a value here so we have already seen in some of the sessions or earlier videos on this channel how do you create uh, xpaths and other locators so if you are on chrome you can always uh, do a right click so if i want to identify this particular text box you can do a right click and say inspect and it will open this developer mode where you get all these options and then Escri you can go this is a plugin so once you add Escri you will get this options to uh, identify by XPath and CSS selectors and you can actually go to my channel automation step by step and if you go to Q&A Friday playlist uh, in the Q&A Friday playlist you will find this video how to find XPath on Firefox, Chrome and IE I will copy this link and make it available in the notes of this video. So you can watch this which will give you some insights on how do you use different locators to find XPaths. And then there is this uh, web page or documentation on Catalon Studio which again gives all the information about web locators. So you can read this as well. Again I will provide the link in the description of this video. So using these strategies you can uh, make sure that your objects are being identified on multiple browsers and that was all in today's session of catalon studio i hope this was useful thank you for watching